Look at this one move we see from world-class players over and over again with their driver to help them hit straighter shots. This is 3D data taken from gear systems from the guys at JD Golf Academy. Got this simple drill, you can use it to get this feel, to get this bump, and what I don't want you to do is to go to the top of your backswing and try and bump across. There's an easier way to do it and a way that will set you up to do it every time with whatever club. Remember, if you like the information in this video, hit the like button down below. Also down below in the show notes, I have a link to my free weekly golf tips newsletter come and join the community so the most constructive way to get this bump without you feeling like you're actually just bumping across is to really concentrate on this trail foot i've got a full video coming or already come on this where i did this with the guys at jd golf academy using force plates to show how much force i was getting in this trail foot how much braking force which i will put a link in if it's already out if it isn't i'll add the link further down the video um, and what i'm going to do to try and make sure i get the bump is I need to make sure my trail foot actually starts feeling like it's screwing, turning, holding on to the ground in my backswing. Because the main reason golfers don't get this bump is because they don't have any braking force in the trail foot and they just kind of roll over it and then they can't bump back. They literally have nothing braking them to send them that way. So I want you to take a golf tee, set up to your golf ball, and wherever your right foot is, just place the tee in the ground here, but where it's slightly out of the ground. Now I'm just gonna move this ball out of the way so I can do a practice swing. I'm gonna start where I feel like I'm just touching that tee with the bottom of my shoe. I'm not pushing down on it. As Soon as I make my back swing, I'm gonna start feeling like I literally push it into the ground. So I'm now moving my pressure onto this foot. Now what I'm gonna do from here upwards, I'm actually gonna start trying to screw that tee in and out of the ground basically creating this braking force in this foot. So I'm feeling like I'm really screwing it down into the ground. And what happens is the ground pushes back at me and it allows me to stabilize my hips on the backswing and they start bumping forwards without me trying to bump them forwards. The feeling of grip and energy this has when you push that tee down and then try and screw it in, making sure you hold on with your feet is fantastic for getting you to drive back through the ball. And one thing that will happen when you do this is whatever's on the bottom of these will start to feel like it makes a difference. The reason what's on the bottom of your feet, so spikes, no spikes, soft spikes, cleats, whatever you use, often doesn't feel like it makes a difference for golfers is because they don't hold on, they don't have braking force. Certainly when it's a little damp like today, I wouldn't want to be in pimple shoes. I want cleats allowing me to grab that ground. So it's the pressure shift and screw and grab that's going to allow me to really drive through this ball with energy and speed, creating longer straighter drives like that, which you could have easily. If you want to find out how to strike your irons way better, like this, use this drill. It's honestly, it's changing so many golfers for the better.